Namaste everybody. I'm here with new video which tells you how to make net of cylinder in the simplest way. First of all, uh, I don't need this axis, so I'm just removing this axis and let's draw one cylinder here in 3D view. First of all, I need 3D view here. Okay, here is our 3D view. First of all, we'll draw one cylinder here in the 3D view. To draw cylinder, we need a point, and for a point, uh, I'm using a slider here. A equals to one. Okay, and for A equals to one, uh, I'm using this to uh, make a point in 3D. So in 3D, okay, in 3D view, I'm going to make a point here. I'll just make here A equals to zero comma zero comma zero comma a okay so that one point comes in 3d okay uh, this okay small a make a small a so make a capital a okay it's capital a now uh, it, we made a point here in 3D view. Next, we draw a circle. Okay, we draw a circle that means for circle C A R C L circle and a point and radius point that is we are using A and radius. Let's again uh, take one variable for radius that is R because we are going to make one dynamic uh, visualization. So uh, let's take one variable that makes our uh, work dynamic okay we are, we are going to create that new variable r that means circle now you can see the circle here in 3d view okay it's undefined let's see what is what is wrong here okay you can just see yes in this here uh space is written here so you just write here z axis because we are going to make circle in z axis z a capital a x i s z axis so here we are getting one circle in z axis and next uh, after making circle we are going to make one we are going to make one cylinder is using that circle so c y l c y l i that means circle and height we need circle and height for this circle uh, is here we just made the name of the circle we just made is c and height let's again make one variable h okay and for that is let's make one slide again for h and r okay now uh, let's see the slides are working or not yes it's working uh, this is working and height height also is working okay so uh, now uh, in this 2D uh, graphics, we are going to make net of this. This is one of the simplest way to make uh, uh, without using any code. This is the one of the way to make simplest way to make the net of this cylinder. For this, I'm going to use this 2D. Here, first of all, I'll uh, draw a circle here because you know, Cylinder is made of, of three surfaces, two circles and one and this curved surface. So I'm going to make here one circle with this center and radius. Okay. First of all, center, let's suppose uh, this take this one the center and radius is okay, just uh, already defined that is R. Okay, this radius is R. Okay, this uh, we're going to make one circle here. This is the first part. Okay, and next. Uh, we're going to uh, make uh, the rectangular part, that means curved surface part, 
which length is equal to the circumference of this circle. That means what is the circumference of the circle? That is equals to 2 pi p i pi r. Okay, this is 2 pi r. That is equals to 6.28. Okay, again, this is also one of the variable. So it moves according to the, uh, it increases or decreases according to this uh, number of radius, okay, value of radius. So now we take one point here. Okay, let's take one point uh, on the circle here. Okay, when hand the symbol of hand comes, uh, that's um, the, that's what we're going to make one point on the circle. Okay, now one line segment we're going to make a line segment with given length. Okay, remember this given length. Okay, given length. Okay, now length is actually uh, actually the length is two pi r. That means already g is here. Okay, just we define two pi r. The value of two pi r is here g. Okay, now which we are going to make dynamics so variable we are using. So the value of z already coming here, which is equal to the uh, circumference of the circle. And when you cut it, that height of this length of the uh, rectangle will be the circumference of the circle. Okay. So now next we need the height of the cylinder. Okay. Again, here uh, with the fixed uh, length of segment. Again, click here, and at this point we need it. That means the length we need next is x, which is already defined here as height of the cylinder. So, uh, uh, okay, now here become one height of the, um, this length of the height of the cylinder. So we, we, we have to make it uh, perpendicular here. That That's uh, with this move tool. Let's make this perpendicular. Okay, now it became here. Now this is perpendicular. Again, in this, uh, place also we need one perpendicular uh, of similar of uh, same length so same idea from here just make one segment of length s which is equal to the height of the cylinder so okay again it goes down here and just pick up this with the move tool uh, and make it perpendicular here uh, so after all making perpendicular just join this with a simple segment okay join this not with the fixed length okay Join this with simple segment. Okay. Now another task is here to make another circle upper side here. Okay. Now let's see. Again, another circle. Let's make there. Now uh, here from this again, from fixed uh, radius, let's make one circle here uh, at this point, and radius is again r, so equal to this. Now it became here, but actually we need a little bit upside. So what I'm going to do is I can take uh, I'll take one point here, upper side this uh, at the top of the circle here, again, and then I'll make one uh, circle. So see here the first option circle with center through the point. Okay, circle through the center of the point. Now this is uh, uh, we are at the end of this construction. So of uh, we not we don't need this. Uh, a circle okay let's uh, hide this circle i think this is the circle okay that's the circle and uh, uh, now if you you want to hide this all uh, this all values here all variables you can just click uh, right click and um, so so value you can do uh, but i'm not going to do this all well uh, other decorations you can do here and putting some colors and other things so I'm not going to do anything here because that is just extra part. So this the main part is this how uh, this is how we make the cylinders uh, surface. Now why this is important is uh, we can um, we can uh, make dynamic this one by uh, some random numbers here. So I'm going to move this sliders. Okay, see when uh, the size of cylinder moves the Surfaces moves uh, accordingly. This is the first part of the circle. This is the second part of the circle uh, base part, and this is the rectangular base that is curved surface area. So, if I do this one here now, uh, if I make one, okay. If I find your area here, okay, somewhere there must be area. Yes, there's area of this circle. I think it gives the area of the circle. Okay. And if I click here, it gives the area of another circle. So first of all, uh, I need to make another circle here, okay? Uh, circle. And 
just click here so it will appear here okay now if i do here click here area then it gives the area of circle okay and uh, if i click here in the polygon if i click here in the polygon here uh, and if i right draw one polygon here Uh, so, and if I click here, it gives the area of this polygon, which is equal to the curved surface area, 70.26. This is how we can just uh, relate this uh, area of this cylinder, surface area of the cylinder to this um, uh, surface area, uh, this cut piece of, or net of this surface area. So next thing, what I'm going to do is here, last thing, and that is just making some random variables here. So from the, we have to go from this uh, bottom and then I'll just do here uh, new cylinder and e w new and I'll just write here the variables equals to random. Okay, let's see variables is r uh, uh, r equals to oh, that is one variable r equals to r a n d a o n random between e e t w between random between uh, okay let's uh, it, it cannot be negative so let's uh, suppose positive one comma uh, let's say up to uh, radius let's say up to six okay uh, one comma six bracket close so select all I, i'll copy this so that it will be faster for me okay right. now next is control v i did it and I need to do correction for this r because next next r variable is h. Okay, so now this is the end of uh, our work. Just do it click, and then when you do new, and you can hide these sliders now, a and h. So okay, uh, you can just hide this another uh, r. Uh, okay, where is r? Mm, I think r is somewhere here. Okay, here is R and where is H? Okay, here is S. I just hide, uh, hide those slider and it became quite a clear view here. And again, I, I can just hide this algebraic view. So it will be a, a more space for 3D and this graphic to the graphics view. So now you can just click new. Okay. A new means it uh, randomly it gives the value of uh, r and uh, r and h height of the cylinder and h and according to that again uh, this uh, net is uh, changed again if you do new again it will be changed in this way so it became quite big so you can just make uh, zoom out here and make it smaller so okay this is how we can make the net in a simplest way again if you do new then it comes like this so hopefully uh, you loved it and uh, please like share and comment uh, and, and if you like this video and if it became useful to you uh, thank you very much have a nice time we'll be meeting soon in the next video thank you very much